What is up, YouTube? My name is Invalid PB here, bringing you another X and Y Wi-Fi battle against a fellow YouTuber by the name of Dynamic Kush. His link will be in the description. Make sure you go check him out. He's a great battler. But yeah, this is a fun little NU battle we had. I challenged him on his uh, his uh, spreadsheet YouTube page. He has like a Google document spreadsheet. That's how he schedules battles. And I said, hey, let's have a NU battle. And he accepted, and this is the result. Now, for the team preview, what can I say? See, this is exactly why I love in you. There's just so many different possibilities. This is why I just I thrive in in you. It's so great. Like like would you ever see these Pokémon on on a, on, a, on another kind of team? But you know, I like OU as well. I think both in you and OU are different, and I think they both require the same amount of skill in my honest opinion. I think there's nothing wrong with playing in OU, but I prefer in you. But I'm digressing. I think I think OU and NU are great tiers. I just like Pokemon in general. But anyway, I'm digressing here. Um, looking at the team preview, I notice he has Lord Helix, <laughs> Oma Star. I always gotta worry about things setting up Shell Smash, and that Sceptile is gonna be a major threat because it's so fast and has really good special attack. Really underrated in NU. But I'm not going to talk anymore. I'm just going to jump right into it. This is a great battle. I talked for too long. Hey, he's issuing that challenge. Okay, I'm going to lead off here with my nose pass. He's going to lead with Sceptile. Let's get this thing started. I need to set up Stealth Rocks. That's priority number one. Now, Giga Drain does a lot. It takes you down to my Sturdy. Luckily, I had Sturdy. I thought about going for Thunder Wave just to make sure this thing's slower. But I did not want to risk him outspeeding me next turn because I know Sceptile are really fast. And he might still outspeed me. He also might have quick attack. You never know. So I had to get up those rocks. That was priority number one. I'm down 6 to 5 extremely early. I'm going to sit on Magmar and he's actually going to switch here, okay? Into his Torkoal. Now, this is where I was. This is where I felt good about this. I have Stealth Rocks up, so he's going to take automatic 25%. I go for flamethrower and it actually does a lot and looking at that hit I know I can take him out with my next attack I'm gonna go for psychic now I'm life orb and a flamethrower that has resisted did a lot to Torko because his special defense is not that good I go for the psychic to take out like I said and luckily it takes it out so he has no way to get those hazards off the field so I'm breaking any potential sashes he may have so that's great you know, send out Omastar. I wanted to go in. I wanted to stay in and go for Focus Blast, but I did not want to risk the miss unnecessarily. When I have my B Barrel, that is my special wall, and it also has Unaware, so Shell Smash will not affect me. He goes for Surf, and it actually does more than I would have liked it to. It's that's actually not bad damage, actually. He's on the switch out. Does not want to get. He predicted me to use a Water Move most likely. Goes into his um, Dragalge, and I'm going to go straight for the Thunder Wave, and that's great. Because it's always good to spread that paralysis to his team. I really want to hit that Omastar, but this works also. Okay, right now, I decided to stay in a Hyper Fang, and it does not do anything. Man, that thing is bulky, and I feel bad because he was paralyzed. So I felt really bad about that. But anyway, I stay in. Actually, no, okay, I switch out and I go into my my Glalie. And lo and behold, he is paralyzed again. Really sorry about that. I know hacks happens, you know. And I'm going to. I went for Earthquake because I thought he switched back in to Omastar predicting the ice move and I want to hit that thing coming in. I'm actually choice banded, so it's going to do more damage than usual. He sludge waves, and luckily I don't get poisoned. So that's great. I'm going to go for the Earthquake, and that's going to take it out. So the ball is really rolling here right now. It's great. Um, he's going to send out his Electrode. Shiny. Love that color. I'm going to switch right out of here. Go into my Lightning Rod Pikachu. Just take that Thunderbolt. I actually didn't predict a Thunderbolt. I don't know. I didn't really think he'd go for Thunderbolt, but he goes for it. And, like I said, a lightning rod, so it's going to negate it and give me a special attack boost. 
All right, he's on switch out, and I predict that switch in the Marowak, and I go for Grass Knot, which is great. So that's gonna take it out. As you as you're about to see, Grass Knot will most definitely take it out. I wouldn't have gone for Thunderbolt anyway, due to the fact that it, the hit would be resisted. But it's an understandable move to go for a uh, Marowak. I actually almost switched, but he's gonna go back out to Sceptile, the biggest threat on his team, I'd say. I really had nothing to take that thing out right now. I'm going to switch into my Magmar. Hopefully I can take a Giga Drain. Because I know what's coming. He Giga Drains me. And it does a lot. Man, that does a lot. At this point, I'm thinking he has to be Specs. With that damage. It has to be Choice Specs. He switches out. Which, which I think he might actually be. Because he would have gone for something else. Because he thinks he's like Carry Focus Blast. I go for the flamethrower. It actually does decent damage. Look at this. A resisted hit, quad resisted hit, did that much damage. So I'm confident that a psychic, again, will take it out. Because I have a life orb and almost start special defense is not that great. So that's almost start out the way. So that's great. I was really happy with that damage. He's going to go back in a septile, most likely to make the life orb damage stack up against me. I just stay in here because I had nothing to switch out into because this thing is a massive threat. Man, this thing is so good in you. But anyway, that is my Magmar out the way. So at this point, I was thinking going to B-Barrel and see if I can get off a Thunder Wave, but I know I probably wouldn't live. So I use a Choice Bandit Ice Shard and it doesn't quite take it out. He goes for Giga Drain, and that will finish me. And at this point, I'm thinking he has to be Specs with that damage output. That is insane. That's a lot of damage. I'm going to go into my Sock here, and I'm Choice Scarf. That's right, Choice Scarf Sock. This thing does tremendous damage in NU. Most people don't expect Choice Scarf. They always expect Choice Band. I'm Choice Scarf Sock, and I Poison Jab, he goes into his Electrode, I switch out here into my Pikachu to take that Thunderbolt again. I could have Poison Jab, but I didn't really want to take the risk. I'm going to my Pikachu, he's on Thunderbolt, like I said, Lightning Rod Boost, and I'm going to use a Thunderbolt myself after he Signal Beams me, and actually does a good amount of damage since Pikachu is very frail. He shows me he's life orb. Actually, no, I already knew that. Okay, <laughs> scratch that. Okay, actually does a lot of damage. Doesn't quite take him out, though. I didn't want to go for Grass Knot because Thunderbolt is stabbed and whatnot. So, yeah, it's Pikachu. Pikachu out the way. Alright, at this point, I'm going to go back into my Choice Scarf Sock. And I'm going to just go for Retaliate for the win. So, great battle. I really enjoyed this one. I love Inu. I love playing in Inu. It gives me the aftermath just to add a little bit of insult to injury. It was a great battle, though. You know, I said, like I said, definitely check out his channel. He has great battles. But it's a great battle, you know. I think the real turning point of that match was when I got Torkoal out of there. Because had he would have rapid spin, it would have really. He would have really been able to switch out a lot more. So yeah, and I really feel like I couldn't allow him to switch out and in and out. And also, had his Dragalge not have been paralyzed, I would have gotten poisoned a lot more often than I did. Wait, did I get poisoned? Uh, no, okay, no, I didn't get poisoned, but he sludge waved me, so it was always that possibility. But like I said, it was a great battle, you know. I'm in Valor PP, and this is Pokemon X and Y Wi-Fi battle. Until then, I have more content available, so uh, <laughs> later.